Hey, welcome back to Dear Twin Flame. It's um Thursday evening and um it was an awesome day. I had a great day and yeah, this is, you know, the sun came out, so that's always good. I was really really tired because well, obviously I'm recording at 2:30 in the morning. I'm not exactly sleeping well. And then my lovely neighbors and their charming children were screaming at like 7.15. So not a lot of sleep going on, but still good day because hello, the sun was out and that makes me happy. It makes, just makes everything better. So there's that. Um, got a homeschooling done and it went really well. Had a transition meeting for my ladybug girl to go into high school next year. Ah, that's crazy. Um, but so I had an hour meeting about that to figure out how to transition her now that her team, well, she's not at school and they normally have this process of introducing them to the school, which isn't going to happen. So she's not going to see her old team and she's going to have a full new team and be going into new school with new teachers and new students and the whole process is just overwhelming, but the meeting went well, so that was good. Happy about that. And, um, yeah, so then we, girls and I, and the dog, um, went on a road trip and dropped off a treat for you. Sadie was really happy about that. Um, she, she was really funny anyway. So that went well. Hope you got it. Hope you enjoyed it because she was really excited to give it to you. And, um... Then we carried on, got some new masks. Very fancy. Um, very fancy, why? Because they don't hold on to your ears. They have like button straps at the back. So the strap, ear straps um, wrap around the button so they don't pull on your ear. So that's good. Um, and our plan to do all this was because I wanted to go visit my aunt who had been away. But um, I had never heard, I never heard back from her, so I didn't know if she was home or not. And I mean, yeah, we're all isolated, but she doesn't listen very well, so I didn't know if she had like buggered off to see friends or whatever. But so we hadn't heard anything from her, and we were just leaving the lady's house where we get the masks from, and the phone rang, and it was her. So instead of coming home, we went on to Port Stanley to see her. And it was so nice, um, obviously nice to see my aunt, because I haven't seen her since last summer, or I guess October, when she, before she went to Mexico, um, so October, sorry, um, but she, she, her house is beautiful, because she does everything like that, she didn't have kids, so all of her money went to things, and you know, material, material objects and homes and cars and all the, all the bells and whistles. And so, um, she has this house in Port Stanley that it's not on the beach, but it overlooks the beach because she's up high on the, on the hill that's to the, um, what, to the west of the main beach area. There's like this residential area that's uphill up on the hill and you can't get to the beach and well you you can walk all the way down back into town into the beach but from her house you can't go down it's too it makes your house look like or it makes your hill look like a little ant hill compared to um theirs uh, or hers um it's so so high up but she's got a beautiful view and it was so nice. It was like 24 degrees, gentle breeze. Um, there was lots of people out jet skiing. And so it was just, it was, it was lovely. It was lovely. It was awesome. Um, and sit in her backyard for a little while, which doesn't overlook the lake, but it's very peaceful and tranquil. It's like this little oasis in their backyard. It's kind of crazy kind of well no it's really cool it's a really cool place um 
so it was a nice visit. Nice to be outside. Obviously, can't go in, so we're outside visiting and chatting and catching up. So that was really, really nice. But enjoyed the sunshine. Enjoyed the even the road trip. You know, we we drove a lot. It was like two hours round trip. Like, oh, sorry, two hours one way and then an hour and a half back just because of the way we had to drive to go through London. Um, but, um, so it was a lot of driving, but it was a nice change of pace because we've been inside, or stuck at home, and just to get out and see the world and see the trees, leaf starting to have their leaves open up and... Feel the sunshine on our faces for a change and see the lake, which, yeah, it's okay. It's not, it's like eerie, but still it's a lake and it makes me happy. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so it was good. It was a, it was a really, really good day. And so, yeah, that's what I know. That's what I know today. So. Anyway, I'm going to keep it short because unlike the last few nights, I am actually sleepy <laughs> and it's only 1130. So I'm going to head to bed and get a good night's sleep so I can hopefully enjoy tomorrow because it's supposed to be another beautiful day and I'm looking forward to it. So there's that. Anyway, I hope you had a great day today and I hope you enjoyed the treats that um, my baby bear wanted to leave you and, um, until next time, dear twin flame, you are loved and you are missed.